Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2021 Hip Parade Autograph Football Jerseys, Series 3. Now this also says, I've got, so they, they're all loose boxes too, by the way. It also says first round edition, so I'm assuming these are all first round picks. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. So we got a big stack of those right there. Big thanks to everybody right here for getting into it. So TC1, totally certified. One, totally certified. Two, congrats to the winners on those. And thanks very much to the people who bought spots straight up. All 32 football teams are in. Remember, our, uh, our college rules apply. If they're college uniform and they're active players, they'll go to the team they're currently on. And if they're college uniform and they're retired, it'll go to the team they play for the longest, according to ProFootballReference.com, going by seasons. All right, so with that, let's go. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a four, ten times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And tenth and final time. Do I need a Pujols auto in a Dodgers uni? <laughs> no, not for not for not for a not for a four month rental. Unless he ends up being World Series MVP. Six and a four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 10th and final time. After 10, Colts down to the Giants. Now, trades are allowed, but trade at your own risk. You don't, you don't know who's going to be in here. <laughs> Hopefully not Ryan Leaf or Christian Ponder. All right. Bradley with the Colts. Barry with the Dolphins. PJ with the Cardinals. Hank with the Chiefs. PJ with the Chargers. Kevin with the Titans. Anthony with the Broncos. Ryan with the Panthers. Nick Stover with the Falcons. Robert with the Cowboys, Joe with the Pats, Michael with the Lions, Brian with the Rams, Hank with the Steelers, Juan with the Jets, Zach with the Eagles, Ryan with the Buccaneers, Robert with the Vikings, Nick with the Packers, PJ with the Texans, Karen with the Niners, Jonathan with the Bills, Gary with the Jags, David with the Washington football team, Hank with the Hawks of the Sea, Edwin with the Browns, Barry with the Ravens, Nick with the Saints, Barry with my Raiders, Drew, we're on to Cincinnati. Charles with the Bears and Simon with the New York Football Giants. Let's sort by column B right here. Remember, trades are allowed, so we'll pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. It's all good. So here's the final printout right here. And we've got 10 boxes to do, so we'll keep the uh, the Who Am I game a little uh, a little quick. We'll make it a little bit easy, just so we can go through these somewhat quickly. There it is. That's where it says first edition right here, first round edition. Um, I'm actually going to turn off the top camera right there so we can get a little bit uh, – I don't want to reveal the jersey too early. All right, who do we have here? Oh, okay. All right, who am I? I am an active wide receiver in the National Football League, a former first round fourth overall pick, played with two teams my entire career, four-time Pro Bowler, also a BCS National Champion. As of now, I have 449 receptions in my career, 6,211 receiving yards, 38 receiving touchdowns. Wide receiver out of Alabama. Went to high school in Miami. Who am I? Okay. 
John Hopkins out of Julio. There you go, Rocks Box. Amari Cooper. So there's his autograph. We're gonna keep I think most of these are gonna be custom jerseys, so we're gonna keep them in the bag nicely folded. But there's his autograph right here. You got the JSA card and sticker right there. Right, so you, this will just have the custom jersey tag, not the official logos and all that, but still pretty nice. There you go, yeah, Bama gave it away. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these a little easy because we've got 10 of these jerseys to go through. Yeah, I was with my Raiders for a little bit and then on to the Cowboys. And they've certainly gotten a lot more consistent since being in Dallas. All right, next one. Retired quarterback. No, this must be this guy, right? Not the other guy? Right, different numbers. Okay. So, retired quarterback, 76 years old right now, was a former first-round pick. Again, fourth overall, just like Amari Cooper. Played with one team my entire career. Two-time Super Bowl champion with this team. I have 25,092 passing yards in my career. 192 touchdowns to 172 interceptions. And uh, in the College Football Hall of Fame and in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Went to Purdue. So think about Super Bowl quarterbacks. Played with one team his entire career. With two Super Bowl championships. Not Breeze. One team. My entire career. I was the uh, first round, fourth pick in the 1967 draft. Right, and Breeze is not 76 years old. Not Aikman, not Plunkett, not Namath, not Staubach, not Terry B, not Bart Starr, not Staubach. I played for the Dolphins between 1967 and 1980. Who am I? Two Super Bowl champions, Dolphins quarterback for pretty much the 70s. There you go, Jordan. Bob Greasy. For a second, I thought it might have been Brian Greasy. But no, there's Bob right there. Brian Greasy did play with the uh, Dolphins for a season, but he was number 14, I think, or 8. So there's his autograph. There's all the JSA stuff. These custom jerseys aren't so bad because since there's no logos or anything like on them, it's better. It's much better for framing, I think. So you're not, you're not covering up any of the... Uh, uh, you're not covering up any of the the logos or anything like that. Correct. And Brian was a Michigan guy. was a Wolverine, right? All right. Barry Swisher got randomized the Miami Dolphins. All right. Next one. Hey, you're welcome, George. Yeah, I know it's not, it wasn't the biggest name popping out of there, but could be. Could be some upside. But you see, your dad's a huge Ohio State fan, so dad will be happy. A little Father's Day gift. 
Yeah, thankfully it's in his college helmet, so I think I think that'll carry a lot more weight. All right. Next one. Who is this? A uh, this might be. Are you a not a custom? Is this a real jersey? Yeah, this is a Mitchell and Ness jersey. This is pretty nice. Where's his autograph? Oh, there it is. All right, who am I? Um, born in Nolens, Louisiana, 5'10", 211-pound running back. First round, second overall, played with two teams my entire career. This jersey is uh, with my second team. I'm a running back, by the way. 5'10", 211 running back. A Super Bowl champion, seven-time Pro Bowler. I've been an MVP. I'm pretty good. 12,279 career rushing yards. I'm retired, by the way. Uh, 100 rushing touchdowns, 667 receiving, uh, receptions for 6,875 receiving yards, and 36 receiving touchdowns. And he's pretty good. College Football Hall of Fame, Pro Football Hall of Fame. No, not Leonard Fournette. Uh, don't think he has 100 rushing touchdowns yet, or 36 receiving touchdowns. Never mind as well. Um, I'm pretty good. I think he was one of the first, at least in my memory, was one of the first guys that was a good rusher and receiver of the ball, a good receiving running back. Kind of kicked off that sort of generation, I think. Yes, Will, there you go. Good save. Marshall Fox. Steve Locke's got it too. Marshall Fox in his Rams gear. Now, this is an authentic jersey, Mitchell and Ness jersey. So I think it's going to be worth taking out and taking a look at. So there's his autograph right down there. So some great penmanship. Nice. So with these, uh, with these retail jerseys, you get all sorts of fun stuff. There you go. You get the Beckett sticker on the size tag. You get all the, all the Rams logos right here. You get the NFL shield, right? All the laundry tags and everything. Yeah, I guess Roger Craig would be, but uh, not old enough to know what Roger Craig did. <laughs> um, this goes to the Rams. It'll this will be for Brian Croft and the Rams. But that was not. But Roger Craig was not too common, right? I feel like after Marshall Falk, then then everyone seemed to be drafting like. You know, everyone seemed to be drafting, pass catching running backs. It's like how there's always been quarterbacks who can run, right? But now it's just a, you know, now it's just like, you know, the, a far more common to have quarterbacks who can just, who can scramble. All right, Rams edition, Marshall Falk going to Brian Croft. Jersey. All right. Oh, we got upper deck authentication here. Ooh, okay, okay. We got an we got a college jersey here. So this will go, and he's an active quarterback, so it'll go to the team that he is currently on. All right, so who am I? I'm an active quarterback. 6'4", 222 pounds, first round pick, second overall. 
Played for two teams my entire career. Career 77 touchdowns, 45 interceptions, 13,433 passing yards, uh, and uh, 12 rushing touchdowns as well. I have 1,487 rushing yards with 12 rushing touchdowns. Kyler Murray's only played for one team his entire career. Uh, I'm also a Heisman Trophy winner. And, no, not Stafford, not Jimmy G, not Cam. No, not Sam Darnold. I don't, I don't think he's got that many rushing yards. Not Cam Newton. Rivers has far more than 13,433 passing yards. Not Michael Vick. Here, I'm going to give it away. I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, and went to Oregon. Jason knows. Yep, yep, Kevin, Ray, Brian, Damian, Marcus, Mary, in his Oregon gear. There you go. This will go to the Raiders because that's where he's currently at. There you go. There's He's got a really nice autograph. And this is an official Nike jersey right here too. The Oregon logo right there. The, the, the wings on the sleeves. The Nike logo. Mighty Oregon in the middle. Yeah, Mariotto's picked second overall behind uh, Winston. This is a really sick looking jersey right here. It's, you got the, uh, the tags there and everything. There you go. 11 out of 18. Is there only 18 of these? And he signed on the front, too. Barry Swisher has my Raiders. Barry Swisher has my Raiders. <laughs> no, I just take care of my clothes, Ben. And let's, we got all the, uh, the authenticity card will go with it, too, of course. Also born in Hawaii, they're they're actually pretty close. I'm pretty sure they went to the same high school. I don't know, Damien. I think I still have it up on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can look at the price there. I don't remember. I'm sure it was a good price, though. We always have good prices at jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, next football player, who are you? I don't know who you are. Oh, this is his college jersey. All right. All right. I, I kind of remember this guy. Kevin's confirming same high school. Yes, same high school. All right. I am a retired wide receiver, 6'3", 214 pounds, a first-round pick, third overall. Played with one, two, three, four, four teams my entire career. Got a Pro Bowl under my belt. Ended up with 359 receptions, 5,522 receiving yards, and 40 receiving touchdowns. 
feel like I feel like there were some higher hopes for this player, but but he had some he had some moments. Um, no, Tio had more than 359 receptions, didn't he? Yeah, Tio had 1,000 receptions, 15,000 receiving yards, 153 receiving touchdowns. No, this this guy only had 40 receiving touchdowns, only 359 receptions. You'll know his name. That's why I kind of was like, oh, he's in his college gear. I think he had had a lot of success in college. He was a Blitnikoff Award winner, a Big Ten Most Valuable uh, Player, a Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year, a unanimous All-American, and two-time first team All-Big Ten. Uh, went to Gallagher High School in Harper Woods, Michigan, and then went to Michigan. And in the 2005 draft, I'll give it away, 2005 draft, first round, third overall. And I guess, he, actually, what, what team did he play for the longest? There you go, Brian. Yep, Braylon Edwards. And according to ProFootballReference.com, he spent five seasons with the team that drafted him, five seasons with the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. Edwin Hack with that one. And this is in his college gear. All right, so it's a custom jersey, but in, in Michigan colors here. There's the PSA card. The sticker is right there. You can see where it says custom right there. So not bad, Edwin. Yeah, Brian knows his early 2000s collegiate football. All right, next one. All right, who am I? Oh, I know you. All right, who am I? I'm a retired wide receiver, played with, pretty much played with one team my entire career. Um, the last team that I played with, the Patriots, I was only a, a practice squad guy. So I played with one team my entire career. First round pick, 30th overall, six foot, 203 pound wide receiver with 1,070 receptions, 14,345 receiving yards, 82 receiving touchdowns, maybe outside shot at Hall of Fame. Not, not a Hall of Famer, but, but some might consider him a Hall of Famer. I feel like there's a, lot, there's a wide receiver backlog that, that need to get in before him, but um, out of Miami, receiver out of Miami. Brian Vornberg knows his uh, early 2000s collegiate football. He should get this one right away. Nice, Brian. He wasn't kidding around. Reggie Wayne. There's his autograph right there. There's all the Beckett stuff. There's the Beckett sticker. There's his familiar 87. Borderline Hall of Famer? What do you think? I feel like some people consider him borderline. Won a Super Bowl. Six-time Pro Bowler. An NFL receiving yards leader. Hall of Famer for sure. Yeah, I'm not saying first ballot. I don't think he's first ballot, but I think he'll eventually get in.
Christian, yes. Well, there's a chance that in Impeccable, though all three boxes could have case hits, too. Yeah, PJ remembers him being in New England. Was pretty psyched, but then never really made it out of camp. That's correct. I know. Lo Logan wasn't confident in his first answer. I, I didn't even see it, Logan. I can't even give you credit for it. Is he even eligible? He must be. He must be eligible. He's been out of the league since 2015. I don't know how many years you have to be out. All right. Who are you? Ah, okay. This is a Nike jersey as well. All right, who am I? I'm a retired linebacker. I was a first-round pick, ninth overall, played with one team my entire career, ended up with 1,000, and I'm a Hall of Famer, ended up with 1,361 tackles, 41 and a half QB sacks, 22 interceptions, five touchdowns, 90 pass deflections. Was an NFL Player of the Year, NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, four-time first-team All-Pro, eight-time Pro Bowler, part of the NFL 2000s All-Decade team, top 100, yep, Rocks Box has got it, top 100 Bears of all time, consensus All-American, New Mexico alum, played with the Bears for 12 years, from 2000 to 2012. Woo! Brian Urlock of Rocks Box got it. Right, Rocks Box must be a Bears fan. The Bears, baby, he's saying. Nice, there you go. Nice Urlacher autograph. There's all the PSA DNA stuff. There's Urlacher right there. Who's got the Bears? That'll be for Charles. Charles Scrabble with the Bears. And it's a custom jersey. So let's take a look. You'll get all the laundry tag stuff. The NFL shield up front. Nice. The classic Bears stripe on the sleeves. You got the 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 tags right here, the size tags. Pretty nice stuff. All right, <laughs> Logan is a Packers fan. He says, throw that in the trash. And Brian's saying he started magically growing his hair after his playing days. There could be worse sins than, than vanity. Jersey could fit me actually on a Sunday, but but he's a bear, not a raider. Wish he was a raider. All right, three more to go. Oh yeah, is he part of a bunch of hair replacement ads? Oh, get get that money, Brian. All right. This guy was a Raider, but not the, uh, but his jersey is the team that we're most familiar uh, with him. 35-year-old retired running back. 5'11", 215. 
Played for one, two, three teams my entire career. I'm a Super Bowl champ. Should have had two. First team All Pro, five time Pro Bowler, two time NFL rushing touchdowns leader, part of the NFL 2010s All Decade team. First team All American, first team All Pac 10, Pac 10 Offensive Player of the Year. 10,413 rushing yards, 85 rushing touchdowns, 287 receptions, 2,214 receiving yards, 9 receiving touchdowns. Marcus Allen, not, Emmett Smith, not 35 years old. Beast Mode is 35 years old, Kevin. This is pretty nice. So a representative from Mill Creek Sports has witnessed this. There's Marshawn's autograph right there. There's the sticker right there. And this is a uh, a Nike jersey. It's a pretty good looking jersey right here. It's got some weight to it, it's heavy. That is nice. There you go. It's a nice nice jersey too. On field jersey, that's pretty strong. Well, Kevin got it first. Now there's a wait, where did that go? It looked like Beast Mode spilled a little coffee or something like that on here. It's kinda of hard to see. I think there's like a slight, like, maybe water was spilled on there or something like that. You can barely see it, but in the, in the lighting, you'll be able to kind of see it. See that right there? So just something to, to keep in mind. Seattle, who's got the Seahawks? And it'll be for Hank. Maybe tobacco spit? This is a really great jersey. On the on the on the neck tag, it has uh, twelve on it, like the twelves. Got the twelve tag on it. Maybe skittle skittle drool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Logan was saying skittle stain too. Yeah. Skittle stains in there. Hank with, there he is, Hank with the Seahawks. Gets a very nice jersey there. Two more to go. I always underestimate how long these breaks take, but thanks for bearing with me here. All right, two more. All right, what do we got here? Who are you? Oh, oh, this is this must be his college jersey. If that's if that's who I think it is. Yeah. Okay. All right, I am an active wide receiver. Active wide receiver. I'm 6'5", 245 pounds. Was a first, all these, I think these are all first round picks. First round pick, 28th overall. And a wide receiver, PJ in Hollywood. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. On a new team this year. Was a first team All-American, a BCS national champion, and part of the second team All-ACC team. 
the year before I was drafted, my senior year, or junior, senior year. 209 receptions in my career, 3,021 receiving yards, and 20 receiving touchdowns. DK's only been on one team his entire career. Mike Williams has only been on one team his entire career. Calvin Benjamin has been on four teams his entire career. Carolina Panthers, Buffalo Bills, Kansas City Chiefs, and he's currently on the New York Football Giants. There's his Florida State jersey, so it's going to go to the Giants. There you go. This is number one right there, too. Here's the David Adams authentication right there. There you go. Ben's Florida State fan fanship helped me helped him there. Yeah, I was like, that's pretty that was pretty quick. But you're like, wait a second. Nice. Calvin Benjamin. This is a custom jersey, I believe. Yeah, this is a custom jersey. So we'll just I'll have to show that one off. All right, so he's currently on the New York Football Giants, which I think is not a not a bad addition. And that will go to Simon Meyer. With the New York Football Giants. I think he could see maybe the change of scenery, maybe a new team. Because this might be one of the... He's 30 years old now. This is probably going to be his last sort of team he's going to be on. Right? If he, if he doesn't really do, do well here. If he doesn't do well with the Giants, then I think that's... Might be, might be it for him. In terms of finding starting jobs. But a big target, you know, for Daniel Jones just has to kind of get into the end zone. He's going to win those 50-50 balls, right? At 6-5. All right, final jersey. I think this might be an official jersey as well. Yeah, it's a Nike jersey here. All right, who am I? I am an active running back in the National Football League. First round, 15th overall pick, played for two teams my entire career. Two-time Pro Bowler, two-time Big Ten Championship, Heisman Trophy runner-up. Have an NFL career, 5,226 rushing yards, 45 rushing touchdowns. 256 receptions, 2,300 receiving yards, 12 receiving touchdowns. Now, Thurman Thomas is not an active running back. From Kenosha, Wisconsin, and went to Wisconsin. Yep, Kevin. Kevin's got it. Melvin Gordon in his Chargers gear. And that's going to go to... It's going to go to PJ and the Chargers. He's a Bronco now, but this is his Chargers gear right here. There's his autograph. He's got his own sticker. Nice. You got, you got the... The Nike tags right here, right? The retail tags are here. Got the lightning bolt on the shoulder, which is pretty cool. The Nike swoosh. The size tag on the bottom right there. The NFL shield. Chargers right up front. Pretty nice. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome, PJ. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Keep your eye out for more of these fun jersey breaks. Uh, and we'll do some more next time. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.